inside Iran, something has started operating without an announcement, without a display, and without a single image to confirm its presence. An advanced military system, believed to be of Chinese origin, has silently slipped into operational service. An electronic eye covering hundreds of kilometers, capable of tracking stealth aircraft, detecting cruise missiles, and countering jamming with the highest levels of technical agility. But what worries Tel Aviv more than its capabilities is the fact that it's already active. And no one knows where it was installed or when it will be used. What is certain for now is that this mysterious radar has complicated Israeli air operations and disrupted strike plans even before they were drawn up. The skies on which those plans were based are no longer the same. So what is the story behind this new weapon from China? And how dangerous is it really? Stick with us until the end. The surprises are far from over. As Israeli preparations intensify for a potential renewed war with Iran, Tehran is quietly moving, adding new layers of firepower to its air defense shield. One of the most notable additions, according to intelligence reports and open source leaks, is the operational deployment of a long-range Chinese radar, the JY-14, also known as LLQ-302. This radar is not merely for detection, but for guidance and control. In Chinese air defense circles, it is dubbed the distant eye, and not figuratively, but literally, because it was specifically designed to detect aerial threats long before they reach national borders, even before they leave their bases. Produced by China's number 38 Research Institute of Radar Technology, this radar is considered a cornerstone of strategic early warning systems. It relies on 3D phased array technology, meaning it doesn't just detect a target, it pinpoints its position in terms of altitude, direction, and speed. It can distinguish between aircraft, missiles, or even low RCS, radar cross-section, targets. Its operational range exceeds 300 kilometers, and it could surpass that significantly if deployed in high-altitude positions within Iran or supported by additional antenna arrays. At this range, it becomes capable of detecting Israeli aerial targets even before takeoff from bases in the Negev or Golan Heights. What makes it truly dangerous is that it's not just a silent early warning radar, it is fully capable of engagement guidance. It performs real-time analysis of target movements, can track more than 100 targets simultaneously, and feeds air defense systems with live and precise data in real time. Among the systems it is likely to be connected to within Iran's defense network are the HQ-9, Chinese system, if imported or locally produced in a derivative form, followed by the Iranian Kordad system, which proved effective in combat by downing an American Global Hawk UAV. Then the advanced Bavar 373 system, which Tehran claims was designed to rival Russia's S-400 in range, accuracy, and engagement capability. With this configuration, the radar plays the role of a long-range acquisition radar, detecting and pinpointing targets before they enter engagement range allowing defense batteries to react swiftly and reduce the window between detection and firing. But the most disturbing aspect for Israel is that the JY-14 is theoretically capable of detecting stealth fighters like the F-35, despite their stealth features. This is because the radar operates on low frequencies that stealth technology struggles to mask 
especially when the aircraft is flying at medium altitudes or exposed at a side angle. In fact, some reports suggest that this type of radar was one of the main reasons Israel developed its customized F-35 variant the Adir, equipping it with offensive electronic warfare systems to jam radars like the JY-14 before they detect it. The dark side of the JY-14 radar. Despite its theoretical power and long range, the JY-14 radar is not without weaknesses, some of which could prove fatal on a battlefield saturated with stealth, jamming and electronic warfare. The first of these challenges is its relatively old design. The radar dates back to the 1990s, developed before stealth aircraft like the F-35 and B-21 became realities in modern warfare. And despite updates in ECCM electronic counter-countermeasures and frequency agility, its architecture does not rely on modern ESA radar technology, which gives newer systems more flexibility and superior ability to detect low observable targets from greater distances. Secondly, speed and timing. In a modern war zone where a cruise missile can cover 300 kilometers in under 10 minutes, any delay in processing or relaying targeting data may result in a missed interception opportunity. Third, and perhaps most crucial, is target vulnerability. Fixed or semi-fixed radars like the JY-14, once their location is discovered, become ideal targets for precision strikes. A single Israeli rampage or Delilah missile armed with intelligence data could knock the radar out in seconds. Moreover, the radar's own strong emission signature may make it more visible to hostile aircraft than it is able to detect them, especially when operating at full power. And finally, if the radar is not fully integrated into an advanced C4 ISR network, its capabilities remain limited, more like an eye that sees, but lacks the authority to decide or fire. Attack scenarios and the shield that might change the equation. In the event of direct confrontation between Iran and Israel, the first strikes will likely target Iran's eyes before its missiles are ever touched. Despite its strengths, the JY-14 radar will be a top priority target for Israel, whether through stealth jets like the F-35 Adir or precision air-to-ground missiles launched from beyond the defensive perimeter. But the complexity doesn't end with the first strike, because having a radar like the JY-14 as part of an integrated detection network means attacking aircraft may not advance easily and could face early interception from systems like Bavar 373 or Kordad before they even reach their targets. Israel's options become more costly and prone to failure the longer this radar remains operational. And in a war that depends on surprise and speed, even a slight delay in the first strike might be enough for Iran to unleash its hidden ballistic or cruise surprises. And so, the question is yours, dear viewer. Can China's distant eye, the JZ-14 radar, truly shift the balance of power? And has Iran's sky become harder to breach than Tel Aviv ever anticipated? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more.